Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about linking between the pages on our website in Gatsby. So up to this point in the tutorial, we just have this one page, which is index.js. But in any good website, you're going to have more than one page. So eventually, you're going to want to be able to link between the different pages on your website. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing we want to do if we're going to link between pages on our site is we want to go up here and we want to add in another import statement. So I'm just going to say import. And instead of saying React, we'll say link from. And then inside of uh, quotation marks, we're just going to type Gatsby hyphen link. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to use a React component. And that React component is called link. And basically, all you need to know is that we can use a, the link component or the link tag in order to create a link between the pages on our site. So I want to come down here into this HTML, and I'm just going to use this link tag. So now that we imported it, we can use a tag called link. And then I'm going to say link to, and then I, need, I, want, I want to type the address of the page that I want to link to. If you're familiar with normal HTML, um, then you'll know about the like a normal link, which is just the A tag. And normally, we would just type like A and then href. And then inside of here, we would put the path of the page that we wanted to visit. But since this is Gatsby and since we're using React, we have to do it this way. So we can use this link. And then inside here, I'm just going to put um, this will link to like page two. And then I can put some text in here. So we'll say like page two. And then we can close off this link just like that. So what this will do is create a link to page two on our website. So now if I head over here, you'll see that we have this link. And when I click this link, You'll notice that we get this development 404 page. So basically 404 page not found, right? This page isn't on our website and that's kind of a problem. So let's come over here into this pages folder and we'll make a new file. And I'm just going to call it page hyphen two dot JS. So this is going to be another JavaScript file. And I want to just actually, I'm just going to go back here. We don't get this red screen of death. I want to come over here to this index and I'm just going to copy all of the code from in here and I'll just paste it into this new page. That way we don't have to write it out. We can just have it. And I'm just going to get rid of some of this stuff. And on this new page, we'll just say that this is page two. And so now our link should actually work. So when I click this page two link, it'll bring me to this page on our website and you'll see that it does. Another thing we could do would be create another link on this page and we'll link back to the home page. So I'm going to copy the link that we have over here and I'll bring it here into page two. And now instead of linking to page two, we can just link to the home page, which is just a forward slash and we can say go home. And so now we have this go home link and we can link back to the home page. So these links are now operational and we can link between the pages on our site. So you could I mean, if you created like a bunch of different pages on your site, then you could uh, create the links for them. Another thing I want to point out is we can also put pages inside of subdirectories. So if I created a folder, let's call this folder dir1. And inside of dir1, we'll make a new file and we'll just call it page hyphen three. And that's going to be another JavaScript file. And again, I'm just going to copy this code and we'll put it inside of page three. And so from the home page now, we can also, in addition to linking to page two, we can link to page three. Except now when we put our path, we're going to want to put dir1 forward slash page three. And this should link us to page three. So you know, organizing your content inside of this pages directory is something that you want to, you know, actually do. And really, the pages directory is kind of like the root directory of your web server. And so, you know, index.js and page two are both at the root directory, right? And then page three is inside of this subdirectory dir one. So you really want to pay attention to how you're ordering your content. And that's kind of how you can do it in Gatsby. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.